this episode of Operation Mustangs and More, we take a coupe and make it into a convertible. Yeah, this car right here, it was a hard top. We cut the roof off it, did what we had to do, and made it into a convertible. We got some really cool how-tos coming up, my viewers' rides, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned. Well, that was fun. Well, you know, over the years I get a lot of people asking me about what it takes to make cars into convertibles. Actually, lately I've been getting a lot of people asking me what it takes to make cars into fastbacks. But we've done quite a few of the coupe to convertible cars <clears throat> over the years, and there's a whole lot of reason for that. And I have one right here that we just got finished doing that, and let me go through that with you right now. Now you might ask yourself, why would you want to turn a coupe into a convertible? Well, there's a lot of good reasons. I had one gentleman that he got left his dad's car. His dad went off to Vietnam and he had a 66 coupe that uh, he just loved and there was no way he was going to get rid of that car. But he really wanted it to be a convertible. So he came to me and he said, what can I do here? And I said, well, I said, what we can do is make your old dad's car into a convertible. This way you're still driving behind the steering wheel that your dad sat behind, uh, but you got the top down so you're in the same car. There's a lot of good reasons. This particular car here got shipped to me from Texas. Nice rust-free car. Uh, the owner of the car really loves it. The, the part he did not like about it was that the top wouldn't go down. So same reasoning here. He knew the car, knew it was a good car, went through all those things that you go through when you, uh, when you buy a car. It's just that he wanted it to be a, a convertible. So we made his dream come true. Let me run through that with you on how we did this feat here. You know, convertibles have inner rocker frames and torque boxes and things that kind of support them. And underneath this scuff plate right here is a set of inner rocker frames on each side of the car that Ford put in there. So this way, if it didn't have a roof on it, the car wouldn't go belly down. Now, the first thing we did was we, we measured out and we put in these inner rocker frame rails. Now, these inner rocker frame rails are like girders. Uh, these things look like they could hold up a, a, a skyscraper. And uh, again, they put these in there on each side of the car to keep the car from going belly down. A couple of other pieces that were put in there and slipped in there were called torque boxes. Now, what the torque boxes do is they hold the front of the inner rocker frame to the lower part of the door jam and windshield frame. Again, to keep the car now from going cowl down in the front. You know, we see a lot of original convertible Mustangs that have these things rot on them and uh, they start going belly down or cowl down. So Ford installed these things to, to prevent that from happening uh, once the roof was off the car. Uh, once we did that, the other thing we had to do was we had to put in what's referred to as belly pans. Now these are lower reinforcement pans to keep lateral uh, movement on the car from happening. And so they play an integral part also. So what you got is you got your inner rocker frames, you got torque boxes, you got these belly pans under there. And uh, once you get that done there, then it was time where we could cut the roof off the thing. And that was a lot of fun to cut the roof off this thing. Order a bunch of parts to get ready for the car show this weekend. And I got a hot deal, too. You think? Think again. Oh, man. Tired of back orders? You need NPD. With four strategically located superstores, orders are shipped direct to your door within one to three business days. National Parts Depot has quality restoration parts for Ford Truck, Mustang, Camaro, Chevelle, and Firebird. For your free catalog, visit NPD online or call toll free. Then it was time where we could cut the roof off the thing. And that was a lot of fun to cut the roof off this thing. 
um, because it's the easy part. Just a matter of taking an electric saw and making the cuts where you want to, want to make it. And basically what you do is you're going to cut it back to the point where you give yourself a little bit of leeway. Um, measure twice, cut once is, is a good motto when it goes to that. Um, come on around over here. Yeah, well, this whole roof. I was cutting through Bondo on the other side. This whole roof has been around the block. I mean, this thing had a vinyl top on it before. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that probably explains all the rust. That's why it's a good candidate to do a convertible conversion, because the roof is all rusted out on this thing. Right. Um, okay, but after you get. This goes to show that it's not that hard to cut a roof No, on. it ain't that hard. Saw, so. Yeah. Um, after you get your cut across the front here, then I'm going to call Preston over on one side, you on the other. Mike and I will be back here. We'll gently lift it off and then place it over here on the side. Well, I think that I'm just going to... It's going to go like butter all the way through because there's not... I... Oh, there's no... Yeah, it's like yeah, I have it. Once I get past the reinforcements there, it's just easy. To cut right. Sun. I have it at a spot where you'll be able to just go through and then we'll worry on about... On this side? Um, cut on this side, you say? Uh, go, on, uh, go on this side just to be on the safe side. Is that why you had me cut a little high in that? Yeah, because yeah, we could always whittle down more, right, right. but once we've cut off too much, we've cut off too much. getting there. It's getting past the advisor. Yeah, I think you're through now. Here, let me have it. Huh? Take it out a second. Bottom. You're not through the uh, reinforcement? No, I'm almost through. I can just cut it right down here. Yeah. I was going to say. I can get it Just 
stand here like this because we're going to be walking it over. So you're not going to be necessarily lifting it off as much as, yeah, there you go. Yeah, go ahead. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> All right. You the video? There you go. You send the guy the video? Mm -hmm. Huh? You gonna send the guy the video? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Mike was saying, put some posts on it, put it over my bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make it like a head. Yeah. Put a sunroof in it. That's what I do. Cut a sunroof. And then you can open the sunroof and have like a moon on your ceiling of your room. Back and make put a headliner in okay. it. Okay. That'll work. Basically what you do is you're gonna cut it back to the point where you give yourself a little bit of leeway. Um, measure twice, cut once is, is a good motto when it goes to that. And uh, once we cut the roof off of it, then it was a matter of getting the rear panel in there. This panel that's behind the rear window is actually from a convertible that we cut the, the rear guts out of. Uh, not only this rear panel here that's in front of the trunk lid, but there's also a whole reinforcement panel that holds the rear seat, that holds the convertible top frame in place. You know, this is something that we, we painstakingly uh, dismantled from another vehicle so we could actually put it into this car and have it be just like the, the Mustang uh, that Ford made. You know, the idea on me making this thing into a, a convertible was that in the future, if this guy ever wanted a part for this car, say another convertible top or a, a rear seat upholstery or a trim piece, he could just literally pick up uh, any type of parts catalog, tell those people on the other end of the line that he's got a 67 Mustang convertible and he could get the part for it. I wasn't going to use something from a Toyota or something from a General Motors car, which a lot of other companies do that when they convert cars into convertibles, from hardtops into convertibles, they use parts from all different types of cars. Well, the problem with that is that if you're an, an owner of that car in the future, you're not going to be able to find a part that you need for this thing because you can't, you know? Yes. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. It travels. out of there. Yeah. Okay. Now at this point what we're going to want to do is now whittle out could almost make this into like a station wagon or a pickup truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Mustang Chero. Uh, now we're going to whittle all these things off, which I think what you can do here is leave the flat spot on here. That'll act as like a little reinforcement and just cut this off of like here. Um, or if you do it good with the air saw. No, I can't make a curb. 
curve with it. No? Okay. Um, or maybe with the other saw, but um, anyways. Uh, and then as far as this goes here, I'll get together with you on where we're going to whittle this down further. Alrighty. We're probably going to get this reinf roof reinforcement out of here. Right. On each side. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll walk over to the convertible piece I have and I'll make a measurement of where we got to cut so this way we can take that out, take this off, we'll get that out of here. We should have this gutted baby basically to the point where we can maybe this afternoon start fitting the convertible pieces in here. Plan. Okay. This is what we got. One of the things that they did from the factory is that they stamped the inner wheel well like this to accommodate the uh, convertible top to come down and retract inside here. A lot of newer uh, convertibles don't have that. They, they just stack the top, and that's why a lot of new convertibles, the top, when it stacks, it's way up here. Is that metal frame that kind of accordions go sit down here? Yeah, yeah. So to, to keep it where it kind of looks streamlined, they crush the wheel well, and it almost looks like they use like a big machine that crushed it, and you know, they really didn't care what it looked like as long as it was crushed and, and could accommodate the top. Right, well, it gets covered anyways. It gets covered anyways. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark this, and we're going to take a two by four and a big hammer and we're going to go at it in a similar manner. This is the one out of the, the convertible parts car that we we're using as our parts car. Okay. If you do it like this with this 2x4, it gives it a similar crush to it, just like the factory. Yeah, it actually does. Bend the lip over. I've seen a lot of guys when they put new inner and outer wheel wells on somebody's convertibles that they forgot that that's there. First time they put the convertible top down, mm. it slices the top. Sure, sure. just like the original. All right, let's move on. We'll get these uh, lower uh, roof lines cut off of here, and then we can start fitting our back pieces and our reinforcements in here. Can do. <laughs> hey, Cody, you want to give me a hand? We're going to now start putting in that, uh, that rear deck panel that goes between the trunk lid and the rear window because you got that that pretty much uh, handled now don't you well, got that all, all cut out it's all ground down yeah okay all right let's do it
Okay, we'll shove it in your side first. Don't put it on top yet. Let me get mine in here. All right, nice job. All right, I think at this point what we'll do is we'll clamp it here, clamp it there, and then we'll see where this is gonna be. We'll screw these into place, and then we can get the trunk lid on it. All right. Yeah, a Mustang motorcycle. I got a lot of ideas for that because if you take even like a, I figured the older one, 64 and 5, two quarters and then have the light, you know, that close where you got the tail light is one of the lights. Of the... <laughs> all right, you got the bike for the donor, you got the donor bike, don't I you? I buy one for a donor. Yeah, all right. All right, making sense? Um, yeah, some NOS stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you see how nice this turned out here where this is on that edge? Oh, yeah. You know? We'll make up good cuts. All right. All right, at this point, what we want to do is we want to take this uh, inner rear seat reinforcement, and now that you have it prepped out, we're going to drop that thing into place. All right. See where it goes. All right, be careful raising it over the car. Nice. Give it a few little love taps here and there to get into place. Actually, doesn't fit too bad. No, no, it fits real good. Push 
All right, I think that'll do it. All right, well, uh, let's get a few more measurements and then we'll, we'll get it welded in. People are just not gonna believe it once I have this on the phone. Yeah. As Dave, our master craftsman, whittles down the body filler on the edge of this Mustang, we see it start to take form. Well, it's Obama's. It takes patience to take craftsmanship to do this. Body work to do. I just want to find my filler here. I'm going to have to do body work all the way across the back of here. And then I got something to do in the seam. Going here. I'll be starting this up so I can find this so I can get a look at it. I had a smart ass mark with the boxes here. We all signed something. Oprah's going to have us on, our, on her show. And Ellen. Yeah, maybe we can get on the Ellen show. She's funny. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Originally, that had a, that would have a little dish to it, but.
stand over here. No, just. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, yeah. Ready? <laughs> hey, Cody, you want to give me a hand? On the next episode of Operation Mustangs and More, we get the Coupe de Cool car done. We get a top on it. We get the paintwork done. We get the interior done. We get it done. And it's on its way back to Texas for a really cool parade it's involved in. So watch out for my next episode of Operation Mustangs and More. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Operation Mustangs and More. I tell you what, had another good show, another good time. I just love doing these modifications to these Mustangs. And I tell you what, taking this car and making it into a convertible, you can't ask for more fun than that. So stay tuned to my next episode of Operation Mustangs and More. And until then, remember, this doc, the doctor of restorations, I'm always in. See you next time. Thanks for watching.